So my voice is clear, right, for everyone. If it is yes, just say yes in the chat so that I'll go ahead and I'll continue. Okay, cool, guys. Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Okay. Let me reshare the screen. So first thing is today. Okay. So yesterday, a couple of questions which came into, which came to me. What is the syllabus as well as, okay, as well as what are the topics which we are going to cover as part of this course? Okay. And along with that, how much, what is the duration for this particular course? Okay. What are the each and every topic, how we are going to cover, what are the assignments which we are going to cover. Okay, those things also I'm going to explain first 10 to 15 minutes. Post that, we'll jump into as usual class. Is it fine, guys? Everyone, is it fine? I would only expect in the chat because I won't allow you two guys to speak because a lot of folks are speaking yesterday. So it disturbed. So let's get into, okay, topic. So the syllabus goes like this, okay? The first thing is history of file system. So why we need to learn history of file system? The reason you need to understand very, very important thing is, okay, yesterday I have explained high level, okay? I have explained high level, why we need to learn SQ, uh, history of file system. So before getting into SQL, before getting into DB, okay, we need to understand what kind of storage mechanism was there okay before and wh what are the disadvantages of which we are getting because of file system and after that okay we 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 should know database concepts first is what is database and database management system okay and then we have to discuss about the rdb ms rdb ms relational database management system and then after that what are the what are the rdbms are available in the current market okay and while we are discussing this particular thing right we have to understand very very important thing is very important thing is okay which one is top in the market okay and along with that we have to discuss about why we are choosing the oracle oracle specifically oracle rdbms specifically yesterday i have explained high level and along with that we are going to discuss about the oracle data types oracle data types and in oracle data types why we need to learn data types because the way we are going to store the data into the data database right we are going to store different types of data for example let's understand this okay let's understand this so here if you take let me take the paint okay Try to understand this very easy way okay what kind of data we are going to store generally okay when it comes to data what kind of data we are going to store so we are going to store numbers numbers is the one of the important uh, data okay nothing but a integers one two like conservative n number of things okay and then we are going to store characters am i right characters we are going to store nothing but a to z okay a to Z and special characters as well. Special characters as well. Am I right or not? So we should understand this as well, special characters. And then other than that, we are going to store dates or not. For example, birth date, hire date. Suppose if you join any company, right? When you have joined that joining date and leaving the date, leaving date, these and all we have to, these and all we have to store, right? So we have to understand along with that, for example, certain time, if we wanted to store timestamp also, you need to understand timestamp data types also, you need to understand. So the way you are going to store the data, right? We have different kinds of data, different kinds of data, okay? But to accommodate, to accommodate, okay? To accommodate this data, we are going to segregate, we are going to, we, Oracle has created different data types different different to accommodate this data into the oracle into the oracle oracle they they created data types they created data types so we should know these data types completely we should know this data types completely if you don't know this data type tomorrow when you are creating the table when you are creating the 
view when you are creating other things right it's very difficult to understand basics you should understand completely basics you should understand completely after that what we are going to cover so directly we jump into sql commands sql commands here it is going to start a boat okay here i'm going to explain when it comes to sql right here i'm going to explain first of all what is sql okay what is sql why we need to learn sql why we need to learn sql okay why we need to learn sql and then what is the importance in the it industry what is the importance of sql in it industry in it industry so these are the questions if you understand these questions right whatever i'm posting here this is very very important thing if you understand this then most of the you you will understand the importance of sql in it industry and one more thing and one more thing once we understand there are different types of commands there are different types of commands are available in sql based on the based on the usage let's understand each and everything okay one is D ddl okay ddl okay ddl commands here ddl commands means okay ddl commands means you are going to ddl means data definition language data definition language okay here you are going to create the tables okay create command okay drop truncate truncate rename alter these are the commands which i'm going to explain as part of the ddl along with that examples okay along with that examples with multiple ways with multiple ways how we can create the tables how we can drop the table how we can truncate the table how we are going to rename the existing table how we are going to use the alter when it comes to alter we are going to use okay how to add a column okay how to drop a column how to modify the length of the data length of the data type okay and along with that along with that okay how to change the column name of how to rename the column name okay these kind of in detail in detail i am going to explain about ddl once we complete ddl we have a dml as well okay dml data manipulation language in data manipulation language we have we have in dml insert okay insert update okay insert update delete merge so most of the if you go with the outside guys okay insert they will tell only one or two ways okay here i'm going to teach you insert the data into the insert in simple insert and along with that how to insert how to insert based on conditions for example if the department is this okay just go ahead and insert into different different table if it, this department is that then we can insert into different table those in detail explanation which i'm going to give and along with that along with insert if you have if you wanted to insert data for example insert going to take single row okay single row at a time but insert all you can do it okay you can do it even 100 rows at a time 100 rows at a time you can use insert all you can do 100 rows at a time in different tables as well you can insert the data into single table when you are doing here insert you can single row and single table only single table but when it comes to insert insert all you can even insert in different tables with suppose let's take 100 table 100 records 100 records what you can do 50 records you can insert table one okay and 50 records you can insert table two like that you can do in insert all using insert all most of the things outside they won't teach these particular things because they won't go with the in detail sql because most of the times what happened insert into they'll go with the two syntaxes one is insert and insert insert table name and directly values that is the one thing insert table name insert into table name and then columns after that values this is the second syntax okay even update also single column update okay single column update multiple column update okay multiple column update just today i'm going to explain you what are the things which i'm going to explain high level 
and today completely if i can explain you what are the things which i'm going to explain you tomorrow you will understand what is going to come okay and entire table update entire table updating specific column specific column and multiple columns okay so these details i am going to give you in detail and along with that okay along with that when you are updating okay specific row specific column as well as multiple columns all those things i am going to explain you here in in delete okay how to delete single record okay specific record specific record specific record as well as multiple records okay multiple records or entire table okay entire table how can we delete it and next thing is what merge merge is the one okay merge is the command what it does it is going to it is going to okay it is going to, at a time at a time it is going to it is going to perform perform all the perform all the perform all the commands all the dml commands insert it it does okay in a single statement okay insert also can be done update can be done and as well as delete also we can perform delete commands also we can perform are you clear guys are you clear anyone have any doubts till now guys just i'm explaining what is the syllabus along with that how we are going to di discuss in detail any doubts till now anyone guys i am expecting from you everybody should be responded so that i'll understand how you are interacting how how you are concentrating okay cool uh, i assume that most of the things you are understanding okay next thing is next thing is transactional control language transactional control language let me open another paint here okay transactional control language see in transactional control language try to understand suppose okay if you go with the ddl right if you go with the ddl by default it is auto committed by default it is auto committed so auto committed in the sense suppose the transactional transactional control language okay control language so here what is going to happen in ddl by default once you perform ddl automatically what is going to happen it is going to be committed committed in the sense it is going to be permanently saved in the database but when it comes to dml dml commands here you can see right dml commands insert insert all update as well as delete merge these commands won't be saved permanently directly we should have a we should have we should save manually to do that okay we are going to use the transactional control language and as well as suppose you do you have done something wrong okay you wanted to revert when you are doing generally whenever you do right suppose you are writing something okay in the excel sheet or in the word sheet by by mistakenly what you are going to do you have written something wrong what you are going to do immediately you are going ahead and you are going to press the control z control z nothing but a, you are going to revert the changes you are going to revert the changes for that what we are going to do we are going to use the rollback command at the same time if you wanted to do if you wanted to save in word or excel anything right you are going to use what control s command right in the database also we have a commit command commit command and one more command is there that is save point save point here this particular save point what it does it is going to whenever you do right when you are rollbacking or when you are commit when you are rollbacking right for example you have a 100 records okay until 50 records you have inserted and you created a save point okay now when you are again you have inserted 150 records okay this 50 records only if you wanted to roll back if you wanted to revert the changes using save point you can do that remaining 50 records you can commit okay 
using save point, we can do that particular operation. I'm going to explain you this particular transactional control language in detail in further classes. Okay, further classes. Are you clear? Are you clear, guys? Next thing is, okay, we have a TCL is done, DCL, okay, data control language. Here, basically, what is going to happen, DCL means is nothing but a giving the permissions, okay, and revoking the permissions, nothing but a grant and revoke. For example, okay, if I'm a junior developer, okay, if I'm a tester, I'm not going to give you, okay, being an admin, I'm not going to give you directly per, to delete the tables to delete the tables to delete the tables but in general being a, a developer or tester are you going to work on this okay you are not going to work with this particular with this particular things are you clear guys grant and revoke you are not going to do that for practice purpose i can i can explain you this in detail with the examples are you clear guys Grant means, okay, give the permissions, okay, permissions given, okay, and second thing is, okay, revoke means re revoking the permission, revoking means it's kind of you are taking out the permissions, okay, are you clear? So, until here, these are the commands, these are the commands which we are going to discuss, okay, you can see here, same thing, whatever I have mentioned here, you can see, right, everything, okay. Now, very, very important thing, very, very important thing in day-to-day -day activity, if you are going for the testing, okay, if you are going with the testing or if you are going with the developer, okay, if you are going with the testing, this command, this command is essential, okay, 90% of your day-to-day -day work, which is going to be on select only, which is going to be on select, nothing but a DRL, DRL, okay. Data retrieval language. Data retrieval language. Are you clear? Data retrieval language. Using this, okay, using this, what you are going to do? You are going to reading the data, reading the data, okay, from air tables or views, okay, or different, different things are there. Everything I'm going to explain, okay. These are, this is very, very important okay drl and after that okay whenever you execute sql right whenever you execute sql these are the very very important things clauses sql clauses and sql query execution also so when you have a this clauses i'm going to explain you suppose if you are going ahead and getting the data if you are going ahead and getting the data you have to use the from clause okay let me go ahead and show you sample here. Okay. Let's understand. Select star from employees. Okay. Select star from employees. Let me show you simple examples. Okay. Then you will understand exactly what I'm going to talk about. So try to understand this very minute things. Okay. When you are selecting, right? When you are selecting. So let me go with the very simple things. Okay. This is a table, guys. Okay. This is a table. Okay. Try to understand. This is a table. So in this table, first is first to here you can see, right? Employee ID, first name, last name, email. These are column names. These are column names. In a table, you can see first row, it, it would be headers, headers and column names. We can consider it. Column names, we can consider it. Under that, okay, we can call this employee ID, whatever we are whatever I'm showing here, right? This particular thing we can call as a column name, okay? Field name, attribute name in technically, okay? Are you clear? Column name, field name, and attribute name. Attribute name. And what we can call this, this particular whatever I'm highlighting, this is called record or row. Record or row. Are you clear? Are you clear, guys? Guys, I'm I'm explaining very 
from basics very basics okay so if you guys already attended outside okay maybe first one or two classes it may get bored for you okay so when it comes to column names okay some of some of the folks ask me when it comes to column names column names column names are not case sensitive column names are not case sensitive but data is case sensitive data is case sensitive how we can prove that in the functions okay for example when it comes to column name if i write column name employee id like this okay this is also same and if i write like this employee id column name this is also same but data data in the sense here you can see right here you can see this king okay this particular king okay this particular king when i write king is like this okay it is different value when i write like this is different value when i write like this it is a having different value you need to understand this you need to understand this yes i am going to give you a zip okay this is just to try to i am trying to explain the syllabus today okay once you understand the syllabus then i'll go through with the sql developer tour okay as well as i am going ahead and i am going to explain you further everything okay see first day itself if i can go ahead and explain everything these these people it is going to be very difficult so so this is the next thing is we are going to discuss about the we are going to discuss about the operators okay operators are the special keywords which we are going to use for getting the data comparing the data okay and calculating the data as well as even using this as a special conditions okay and set operators in sql we have a arithmetic operators comparison operators when i say arithmetic operators suppose you have a 10 plus 10 okay you wanted to addition division as well as multiplication and if you wanted to do the such kind of operation we are going to use the arithmetic operators when it comes to comparison suppose you wanted to compare greater than less than less than equals to okay and greater than equal to equal to not equals to these kind of operations if you wanted to perform you are going to use the comparison operator in comparison operator there are different kind of things for the different types of operators those also I am going to explain in detail. And along with that, logical operators. Logical means and or not. Whenever you say, right, this one and this one, okay, which means you have to compare two conditions, it should be true. Okay, that is the one of the way. And if this one or next one, okay, either condition is true, then that kind of conditions we can see logical operators. And when it comes to set operators, being a being a developer if you wanted to identify two common common records from the two tables you can use the set operators at the same time if you wanted to understand okay first table is having 10 records second table is having five record okay what are the records which is not available in the for second table those records also you can identify using set operators Along with that, you wanted to combine first table is having 10 records and second table is having 10 records. Now you wanted to combine as a 20 records using set operators. You can do that. Those set operators is nothing but a union, union all, and along with that, intersect and minus operators. Minus operators. There are special operators between and, and conditions, not between. Those special operators also I'm going to explain in detail. And after that, what we have, we have, we'll go with the functions in general, in general, okay, in Oracle database or any other database, you have two types of things. Okay. Functions are two types. One is custom functions and second is built-in functions. Here, I'm going to explain all built-in functions, which are available in Oracle, which are available in Oracle. There are two types based on the, the way it works. I'm going, I have segregated in two ways one is single row functions and second is aggregate functions okay if the one row is given into input and other row automatically one row should come as a output that is called nothing but a single row functions in again single row functions also segregated based on the data types based on the data types here you can see in single row function i am going to explain character functions character functions 
when I say character, okay, what is the data type which you are going to refer? Character data. Character? Uh, I'm going to answer Ajit. Okay. So when we say this particular thing, right? Character functions. So here we can say all character data. For example, care, var care, var care to. Okay. This kind of data, this kind of data type, which we are going to use it. When you have written, when you have created table, okay, when you have created table, that particular table is having this particular data types. Using that data type, that particular column, we can apply this function. One is if you wanted to convert, for example, upper, okay. Let's take it up here, okay. Let's take it up, select, okay. Select, okay, upper. Here I'm going to write it up, Ravindra, okay. Try to understand from dual. Dual is a dummy table. Remember this, okay. Here you can see, okay, what I have written here, lower case. But what is the outcome which, which is coming? What is the outcome, guys? Be interactive in the chart, guys, whether you are there or not, I'm not sure. Some people are coming, some people are leaving. Okay, what is the case? Upper case like that okay along with that okay suppose if i wanted to change it here okay let me take this okay let me take this again let me write it up select lawyer okay lawyer and i'm writing here upper case okay upper case from dual okay here you can see okay which is going to come as lawyer okay which is going to come as lawyer I'm going to I'm going to explain you this SQL developer tool as well as okay. I'm going to explain you okay how to install as well. Okay, today I'm going to take one person into consideration and will install as well as I'm going to go through SQL tour as well. Clear? Now, now okay, in character functions, okay, upper lower init cap, init cap in the sense, okay, every word first character should be in uppercase. Okay every word so here i'm going to write it up like this students are great okay students are great here if i can use init cap okay init cap you can see here okay init cap now when our i use init cap what it does it is going hidden it is going to show like this you can see right s caps a caps and g caps okay like that okay so yeah you can consider this okay you can consider this you can see here students are great so like this okay like this you are going to you see all the functions all the functions okay we have a in string and substring this is the very very important functions these are very very important functions which is going to come in your interview okay without this okay if the person is good and asking interview questions without this you are not going to see any interview questions substring and in string and suppose if you wanted to go ahead and use the l pad and r pad okay suppose if you wanted to add spaces and if you wanted to remove spaces you adding the spaces you are going to use the l pad and R pad and if you wanted to go ahead and use the if you wanted to remove the spaces from value okay then you are going to use the trim R trim and L trim okay suppose if you wanted to concatenate okay concatenate in the sense if you wanted to combine two or more strings you are going to use the concat and suppose if you wanted to replace for example here Ravindra is there okay Ravindra is there I wanted to replace as Ravi okay I can use what replace function at the same time if I wanted to translate translate is the function which is going to do here a is that I wanted to replace with replace with the b okay which means character to character we are going to translate it along with that length suppose you have a Ravindra here okay let me show you with sample things then you will understand what I'm going to teach Ravindra how many character how many what is the length guys Ravindra what is the length guys if you calculate it, okay, it is going to be eight character, eight character. You can see here eight, okay. You can see eight here. 
like that i'm going to explain you and along with that here if you understand these are the functions which is coming but you can write the functions like this okay you can write okay in one function okay you can write another function which means is nothing but a you can write in function inside another function also you can write i'm i'm going to explain you those things in detail in further classes are you clear are you clear till now what are the character functions and along with that number functions number functions in number functions we are going to discuss about the round trunk mod sign floor seal greatest okay these are the functions which i am going to explain in detail explain in detail in date functions date functions suppose if you have a data date okay birth date i wanted to add 12 months i wanted to add 12 months if i wanted to under if i wanted to get the current date today's date okay there are functions current date function if you wanted to get the current time stamp what is the time stamp now that particular thing also i'm going to do that and if you wanted to extract if you have a date like this okay let's understand select okay star from employees okay let me show you just today i'm going to explain you high level tomorrow onwards directly we'll get jump into sql and we'll explain you here you have a this right okay here you have this now i wanted to only get the date okay 17 and i wanted to get only month i wanted to get only year okay so this particular things also i'm going to explain you in detail how to extract from day from date okay month from date as well as year from date those things i am going to explain you in detail while we are going to discuss along with that okay suppose you have a date okay for example let's understand this is the date and along with that 15th okay 15th june okay 2025 what is the difference okay what is the difference in months okay within these two dates how many months is the different what are the how many months are different those things also we can get using sql functions using sql functions so we are going to discuss that and we are going to give you in detail about these functions as well as i am going to give you assignments for this assignments for this so every functions okay number functions i am going to give you assignment character functions as well as date functions along with that okay dml commands ddl commands okay here you can go here right dml commands ddl commands as well as dcl command and transactional commands select command okay the operators also i'm going to give you assignment and along with that couple of interview questions which is asked right which is asked those things also i am going to give you as assignment okay you have to do it okay i'm not going to monitor you but if you have done whatever the assignments which I'm going to give you, those you have to do it by yourself and you can share with me. Okay. You can share with me. So based on that, I'll go ahead and I'll see how much progress you made it. And once we have that right particular thing, we are going to discuss about the multi-row functions, nothing but a aggregate functions. In aggregate functions, we are going to discuss about the, suppose you have a rows. Okay. For example, here you have a salary okay you have a salary you have 107 rows here out of it who's having highest salary that you can get it using max and if you wanted to get the lowest salary using min you are going to use the min function and suppose if you wanted to get the what is the count of it okay select count of star okay count of star from employees simple very simple okay you need not to worry sql is very easy guys if you understand if you understand sql is very easy and you have to do the average for example what is the average salary for entire employees what is the average sal what is the total salary okay these are the questions which is going to be done by business right suppose even if you are running a business okay how much business is happened every day okay these things going to be asked right so you are not going to away from business wherever you go in IT industry. Finally, how IT industry works, right? I'll discuss that particular topic in the 
later point of time. Okay. So you have to use these functions. Okay. List tag is nothing but a, this is the function. Okay. If you, if I have a rows like this, okay, let's understand here. I have a rows like this, Ravindra. Okay. Ram. Okay. And Sita. Okay. Try to understand if you have like this. Okay. Now I wanted to keep this particular data into like this Ravindra comma Ram comma Sita. Are you understand? If I wanted to get using list tag, you can get this. Using list tag, you can combine multiple rows into a single string. Single string in a comma separated. Comma separated. So those things, I'll go ahead and I'll give you the examples. And this is the this particular thing also asked in multiple interviews. And when it comes to here, general functions, okay, there is a roll up as well as queue along with that important question, very, very important question. And they have asked these questions many times, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, guys, okay. Very, very important thing is case statement as well as decode statement. What are the different, different difference between case as well as decode, okay, how we are going to utilize in real time. Okay, when I'm going to explain for you, right, I'm not going to go with the general how people teach you. Just this is the statement. This is the thing. I'm not going to do like that. I'm going to give you the use case. Okay, this is the use case. How can you solve? What is the functionality? You can do that. I'm going to explain you the use case at the same time, how we can implement each and everything. Okay, for example, first five classes I have taught you create, okay, DDL commands, DML commands. Then I'm going to ask you, okay, this is the business requirement. How can you solve this? If you understand this, okay, whatever I'm telling you, if you understand, suppose I, I'll tell you, okay, this is the business. Okay, go ahead and create these tables. You can create a primary key here, foreign key here. I'm going to explain you this. Once we start the classes, then you will understand much more on that examples and other part. Now, if I can explain, this is going to be vague. Okay, you don't understand that. Okay, then case statement and decode statement. This also I'm going to explain along with that examples also I'm going to give you. And when it comes to conversion functions, these are very, very important. Okay, these are very, very important. There is a implicit conversion, explicit conversion. Those things also I'm going to explain in detail. Two care, two number, two date, cast. These are the functions which we have. While we are going to discuss, while we are going to change, right? While we are going to use the set operators, I'm going to explain this, okay? And NVL functions, okay? Null functions, okay? Null functions. There is a null functions. One is is null function, is not null function, NVL, NVL2, collage. These are the functions which we are going to use it. See, these are the functions which we are going to discuss along with that windowing functions. These are very, very important functions when it comes to advanced level, when it comes to advanced level, rank, dense rank, row number, lead, lag, entire. Okay. These are very, very important in terms of interview, in terms of interview. Are you clear, guys? Are you clear? Guys, I'm not seeing any enthusiasm. Are you clear till now? Now, now, okay. Very, very, one more important thing which we are going to see. Okay, this is the most important topic and most used topic in real time, most used topics, okay? These are the joins, okay? Joins, inner join, left out. Joins means it's nothing but a combining more than one table. More than one table, okay? More than one table. Suppose if you wanted to combine more than one table, you are going to use the joins, okay? Joins as well as you can use set operators also, okay? But most of the cases according to the business okay we are going to use the joins you are going to use the joins how we are going to join okay what basis we are going to join how we are going to do that what basis you are going to do that 
okay which case you are going to use inner joint which case you are going to use the left outer joint which case you are going to use the right outer joint and which case you are going to use the full outer joint along with that which case you are going to use the self joint self joints these are very very important things and cross joint most of the times we don't use in real time okay very very important is inner joint left outer and self and full outer joint these are the things i never used in my entire career is right outer joint till now okay these are very very important joint first i'll explain you what are the joints how we are going to join then after that i'll go with the examples business use case clear and before going to explain joints i will explain the constraints okay constraints constraints is nothing but a set of rules set of rules before loading the data before loading the data yes parthivan i'm going to explain those also natural join no equi join non equi join those also i'm going to explain but nc standards we are going to go with the this particular joins clear so we'll go with the sql constraint sql constraint okay in sql constraint we are going to go with the first is not null unique constraint primary key foreign key default as well as check constraint constraint is nothing but a constraints is nothing but a set of rules which we are going to use before loading the data into the column or table column or table are you clear guys are you clear okay now for example for example suppose if you wanted to see okay how many tables are present in particular schema okay particular schema okay how many tables are present okay what are the tables okay what are the tables who are the owner for that particular table okay there are multiple tape multiple types of tables are there one is system tables another is user tables if you wanted to system tables and user tables suppose i have created one table and at the same time system is created one table if you wanted to see both the tables you are going to use the all tables come all tables table and if you wanted to see only user created for example i have created and xyz person is created you can go ahead and you can use the user table suppose i wanted to see all columns all tables then i can go ahead and i can use the all tab columns this is nothing but a metadata tables metadata tables are you clear guys are you clear everyone so this is the one thing and we are going to discuss about the views also views okay first of all what is view okay what are the types of views are available okay then in that particular thing how we are going to create the views how we are going to insert the data how we are going to update the data how what is the difference between simple view and complex view okay what is materialized view these things i am going to explain you in detail in detail okay in detail i am going to explain are you clear guys everyone are you clear now now one more thing okay this is the concept which is going to be asked in lot of times lot of times sub query okay sub query okay in sub query there are multiple types single row sub query multi row sub query multiple column sub query okay nested sub query correlated sub query sub query is nothing but a there are two first is inner query outer query will be there those i am going to explain you in detail guys in detail okay this is the overall this is the syllabus which we are going to along with that sequences okay sequence is nothing but a how to create a sequence how to drop how to drop a sequence how to modify sequence okay we are going to discuss and here indexes okay suppose index is nothing but a whenever you have any book right what is going to happen yeah query inside the other query right i'll explain you those things okay don't hurry right now okay i'll explain you those okay indexes we are going to discuss In, there are multiple types of indexes which is available those things i am going to explain in detail till now and along with that recently we are seeing most of the times yes normal forms those things i am going to explain you okay when we are going ahead and discussing about the 
this rdbms part as well as we are going to dis we have to discuss about right. the couple of things constraints part right so we'll discuss about right. the relationship and other things so now okay now i see a lot of people are dropping off okay let me stop the recording <laughs>